Got to refuel now. Yes. Yes, a little food, a little water. And with the cost of food continuing to rise, shoppers are looking to save money wherever they can. And as CTV's Dave Charbonneau reports, there are big savings to be had depending on where you shop. Amy Simpson shops at Dollarama at least once a week. So I can get the same food for half the price. She says food prices at places like Loblaws are just way too expensive. I like chips, but I refuse to pay the independent prices. So I go to the Dollarama for the junk food that I don't quite want to pay full price for. Here at Loblaws, some items could cost double what they cost at Dollarama. I'm willing to try Dollarama because I am, I have been going to Giant Tiger or Walmart and I am willing to try something else as well if it's going to be cheaper. So we put that to the test and compared identical items sold at both locations. All right, I just bought six items at Loblaws that I know they have at Dollarama. I'm going to go buy the exact same six items. We're going to see what the price difference is. Here's the six items I bought from Loblaws and these are the exact same six items I bought at Dollarama. Chunky soup, $3.29 versus $3. Salad dressing, $4.49 versus $3. Tomato sauce, $2.49 versus $2. Rice, $2.49 versus $1.75. Gatorade, $2.49 versus $1.25. And a one liter bottle of Diet Pepsi, half the price at Dollarama. So for Loblaws, we have a total of $17.82. And for Dollarama, it's a total of $12.19 a savings of $5.53, 31% cheaper at Dollarama. Lots of fresh vegetables. But even though you can save at discount stores, it's not for everybody. I guess a lot of our stuff, as you can see, is perishables. We, we tend to buy fresh. You can't get any fresh produce or meats at Dollarama. We shop at Farm Boy and Loblaws, and that's just yeah. about it. I just paid $241. I'm a single guy, okay? I live alone. And uh, a year ago, it was $135 for the same thing.